Have you ever had a moment when you're walking in the city and you've come across a weird looking supercar and figured, what a strange place I live in? Well, me too. That was at least until I found a video of Dubai's most outrageous things. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Abandoned cars. If there's one sight that'll bring tears to the eyes of any automotive enthusiast, it's the sight of luxury cars Aww. being abandoned and left to rot away until they're barely drivable. There are so many abandoned sports cars in Dubai that the majority of them get crushed by machines. Bro. Just like this Lamborghini you're seeing right now. Imagine being that rich. Imagine having so much pee that you can buy a Lamborghini, drive it for maybe a week or whatever, go back to your home country and just leave it there. No shit's given. Just let it get crushed. Ah, oh, I can't even imagine being that rich. It's so insane, man. Poor thing. Why don't they donate some of these cars to people instead of just crushing them? Hell, give one of these to me. I'll make perfect use of it. Trust exactly. He knows. Uh, he knows. I think that it's rich listers who don't understand the value of money abandoning their cars at airports and car parks. That's often not the case. It is well and truly just molded into the ground that it sits on. The two or three thousand cars that are abandoned every year often... Every year? What the f***? Dubai is an insane place, honestly. Have owners who couldn't manage the repayments. Low oil prices and the global financial crisis definitely played a part. So why can't the owners just declare bankruptcy? Well, mm. there's no such thing in Dubai. Under Sharia law, not paying your debt is a criminal act. If you can't make a repayment, no matter how big or small, you face prison time. That makes a lot more sense about the cars then. Um, Alright, that's, that's, that's interesting. <laughs> I love that, nope. Exotic pets. There are a lot of wealthy people in Dubai. And well, a lot of wealthy people who want to show others that they're wealthy too. While yeah. they could just give their dog or Aww. cat a diamond encrusted collar, that's just not good enough. Many famous and wealthy people in Dubai- My guy, the Pope, look at him, shining all with beauty. Absolute legend. Dubai wanted to make sure Beautiful. that everyone knew just how rich they really were. So they purchased exotic animals like tigers and cheetahs and would then take photos of them in front of their luxury cars. Oh. <laughs> oh. Even walking down the street, it wasn't uncommon to come across people walking their pet tiger like it was no big deal. See, that's kind of cute in terms of the tigers like that, but the second you piss one off, dead, gone, no, no chance, inhale, you're surviving. Like, look at this geezer here, I paused it, he's ready for some lunch, he's going to eat someone alive and he has no chance of escaping, that is it, finished, gone, end of life, finished, end game, done. I'm, I'm gonna carry on now. <laughs> Fortunately, though, those days are over, at least for those law-abiding Dubai citizens anyway. Oh, he's got... Fucking balls he does. Look at that. What is that? Why? Why would you even just be like my? Due to pressure by animal Dubai, welfare man. groups, there is now a rule that prohibits the purchase and sale of wild and dangerous animals for private Good. ownership. If you're not a zoo or sanctuary, you've just got to have a boring cat or dog like the rest of us. What happens if you're caught with an exotic animal? Well, not only will you have your animal confiscated, but you can also end up in jail for six months. Bruh. Number 13. That was disgusting. What the fuck was he doing? You Look at this. What is that? What are you doing? He's, in, he's like inhaling the line. What is he doing? Sniffing the out of it. The fuck is wrong with people, man? <laughs> what? Diamond and gold cars. Bruh. There's only so much money you can line your walls with or stuff into the lining of your- Look at it, man. Jesus Christ. Like, you're actually mad if you can buy that. Like, it's so Actors, insane. What do you do when you just got too much money? Yeah, I have this problem too. Well, there's one thing you can do with it, and that's make cars out of gold. The Garson Division of Cactus Corporation exhibited the luxury crystal bends. Because why not? If a 4.8 million dollar car in 4.8 million for that? Are you mad? Are you mad? 4.8 million for a car. That's pure gold and crystals, whatever. Like, oh, f me, man. Dubai is just Jesus. too cheap. Then turn it into a 7.5 million dollar car. 
Robert Golden Engineering in Germany carved a 1 to 8 scale model of a car out of a solid 500 kilogram block of gold. It was then sold at auction and a huge amount of the money that it sold for went to charity, so that's nice. But if you want a car that runs and drives, then you can have a... Not only do they sell it, they give it to charity, that's how much money they've got. It's actually, I'm speechless man, I'm speechless, Dubai is insane, it's insane man, actually insane. Instead. Turkey bin Abdullah, the seventh son of the late King Abdullah bin Abdulaziz, had not one, but several cars plated in gold. Some Bruh. of them include a Brabus G700, a Ferrari, and a Bentley. A one million dollar gold plated Nissan R3 GTR. Oh, the fact is even being like curved out to have nice patterns and shit. I need to go to Dubai. That's like, that's gonna be like a bucket list for me. This entire video has made me want to go there. Actually insane. A supercar paradise. Yeah, no Every country is known for something, and it just so happens that Dubai is known for its supercars. In fact, you may even go so far as to say it's a supercar paradise. You can't drive two feet without seeing Aston Martins, Ferraris, Porsches, and Bugattis. Even the police are using supercars to get around. That's but what the f man even the police have got ferraris insane man this this country is mad Why honestly is dubai mad. a supercar paradise and not somewhere like england or even texas in the united states well dubai is a city of high salaries and low to no income taxes the roads mm. are also perfect for supercars in that they are well lit and perfectly maintained Dubai and Pothole are not two words you would ever see in the same sentence, except for that one. Supercars are also considered a status symbol. If you're wealthy, then you buy a supercar. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that car. One day, one day, <laughs> my YouTube career will get me that far so I can get a yeah. toy version of that maybe. I don't know how it'll go. <laughs> and let everyone know about it. Even if you just want to look wealthy, then you can buy a flashy Lambo or a Porsche and just pay it off. Or you try and join the police force and drive one for a living. Dubai police have BMWs, Bugattis, Dodge Vipers, Ferraris, Audi R8s, Aston Martins, Bentleys, and more. That's so mad. Even the police force have got sick cars. <sighs> UK just looks like shit now, I can't lie, this video has made me depressed and how good this goddamn country is bro, like holy shit. And on that note, my name's been Ashton, Dubai is insane, leave a comment on what you think you would do if you were in the city. Also like, subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one, peace.